This is Jared with Stampede Blue, and this is your Indianapolis Colts post-game wrap. The Colts lost today in Seattle. The final score was 46-18, to and this was another one of those games that will go down as a tale of two halves and is yet another indictment and a deficiency at the head coaching position. In the first half of this football game, it appeared as though the Colts were in control. They caused turnovers on defense, they were able to move the ball on offense, and Chuck Pagano actually won two challenges. Now, in the second half, it was a complete opposite display. The Colts were outscored 36-3, and it goes to show an, a deficiency at the head coaching position when your opponent is willing, to, willing and able to game plan for the second half, make some changes, put in some players you haven't heard of or seen play, and then completely beat you with them. Um, it's kind of like playing chess. If you expect that your opponent's going to come out with the same configuration and attack formation that they did in the first game that you play against them, when the second game they come out with some different pieces and put them in some different spots, you're going to have trouble to contain them. Now, could injuries are certainly a factor here with the Colts losing a center. Uh, also, it looked like Jacoby Brissett and Jack Doyle. Uh, we're a little banged up, but this is a Legion of Boom we're playing against, so injuries are going to be a factor. It's kind of good that this was a game that Andrew Luck wasn't back for because I am f afraid that the outcome may have been similar. It appears as though the Colts are talented and well-coached just enough to be able to hang around for a half of a football game, and then if your coaches aren't making the correct decisions and aren't game planning correctly for what your opponent may be able to do, you're going to lose some ground, you're going to lose in some possessions, you're going to give up a score you shouldn't to a player you shouldn't, and you're going to lose a game you shouldn't uh, against an opponent you should be able to beat. Um, if the first half of this football game tells you anything, it's that it's really not that challenging to be able to game plan for what you expect to see out of your opponent. What is challenging for a however, is what happens when it all breaks down? What happens when your opponent starts to substitute and starts to put in different players that you haven't seen, use formations you haven't seen, put the ball in people's hands you haven't seen them touch the ball yet? How do you react to that, and how does your defense play? And the Colts just got outplayed, outcoached in the second half of that football game, and that's why the Colts are 1-3 and three now in the gutter of the AFC South. Uh, this will be a, yet another indictment of the coaching deficiencies, particularly in the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, head coaching positions. These are all things that can be remedied just by coaching. And I understand injuries. I understand being on the road in a loud environment. But when it comes down to it, the end result of this game could have been markedly different. Of course, we could point at things like uh, giving up points off turnovers. That's 14 points right there. This is still a double-digit football game. Uh, the Colts in the second half were just unable to move the football. Again, it appears as though the first half game plan works, and then once we get outside of that, we're not able to game plan anymore. And I don't know if we're just not as good without guys like Ryan Kelly and guys like Andrew Luck or if we're just not as well coached as we'd like to think and I know we're beating a dead horse but until changes are made the beatings will continue so we're going to continue to beat on the things that we need to change and we're going to continue to harp on people that we think we see a problem out of it's not personnel injuries are injuries are a factor in a football game sure Turnovers are a factor in a football game, sure. But the first half of this football game, the Colts were in control and had an opportunity to win a game. And the second half of this football game, the Colts simply were not prepared for your, what your opponent is going to do. And that is that falls on the coaches, not on the players. And until some changes are made, expect the outcomes to be similar. Colts are going to be in or ahead in a football game until they're no longer on their scripted plays that they've been practicing all week. And once we're actually trying to go out and win a football game, we are a lost cause. And I'm assuming that until Andrew Luck comes back, that the outcomes are going to be similar. So be prepared for more of these. Next week we play at home against San Francisco. This is Jared with Stampede Blue. This is your Indianapolis Colts post-game wrap. Of course, we hope you 
enjoy the game and had a good time until it all goes wrong. And we'll see you next week. We'll see if we can change it up.